Hi everyone, welcome back to Salesforce Velocity course. In this video, we are going to check out uh, extract data raptors. In the previous session, we saw how Turbo extract data raptor works. So in this one, we are going to check extract data raptors. So again, I'll just brief you on like, you know, what the definition is. So in extract data raptors, you'll be able to query on multiple Salesforce objects. All right, along with some additional features, for example, like, you know, creating a formula, which you could not do in Turbo Extract. Okay, so let's just go ahead and try this one out. For this particular uh, session, we are going to fetch account details and all its associated contact details. All right, so I'll move to my CMT org. I'm already on Omni Studio Data Raptors. If you want, I mean, you can click on this and you can search for Omni Studio Data Raptors. That's how you land up on this page. All right. Once you're on this page, just click on new and create your uh, data raptor. So here you have to give your unique name for the data raptor. I'm giving it as extract dr underscore extract example. And here uh, from the options, I mean, we are going to uh, use this one, right? Because this is what we want to try out. So extract input output would be JSON. If you want to provide the permissions, like, you know, under what permissions this particular thing should be running for, like, you know, different users, then that can be provided. And in the description, you can provide the description for what purpose this data raptor is being created. All right. I'll just click on save. So here in the turbo extract data raptor, if you remember, we only had extract options and preview right so here we have formulas and output as well all right so let's just go ahead and get started so our, our goal is to fetch accounts and contacts all right so i'll go ahead and start adding steps so i want to fetch the account information so first i'll select the account object again this list will give you the list of all the salesforce standard objects custom objects custom settings and custom metadata all right so i'm going ahead and selecting account because that is where i want to fetch the data from so account <clears throat> and in the extract output path you can give like you know whatever node you want to give in your json so here i will give it as account okay and you can keep on checking right the node got created right and in the filter let's just give something as a uh, name which is what we have been using and here i'll give it a parameter as like and let's just hard code the value for now okay so this is like you know select something the fields i have not defined it the fields are to be defined under output so this is basically telling us that we want to query on account object where name like this okay so that is the one part of the query that we have formed we are still yet to define the fields okay so let's just we will uh, like you know um fetch the contacts also but let's just complete account first okay so i'll move to output first and in the output i'm going to select few fields from the account okay so here i let's say like you know let's just take account number and here you can give any name that you want okay so account and if you remember that if you want a proper structure you can give like you know account colon account number so that it will have a parent node if you don't give it like this then it will not show a parent node okay so account number and then let's just add one more field okay so let's just take a uh, account id as well account id okay and let's just add one more field maybe industry I hope you remember why in the output JSON path, I am writing it like this account call an industry, right? I can also just write industry, but the thing is that it will not be tagged under this parent structure. Okay. So if I just remove uh, from all the output JSON path for all the three fields that I've created, if I remove this, right, not from the extract, you cannot remove from the extract because this is a pick list that is showing up right from here because this is giving us the api names that are available on the object but this one you can define yourself okay and if you don't give it as account colon then it will <clears throat> basically keep everything on on the same level and it will not show the parent node so just for the parent node i am keeping it like this okay all right so now let's go to preview and execute this 
so we should also fetch the name right so that we can see the name of the account so let's say account name okay all right now let's go to preview and execute it again so account name id account name industry and id so this account does not have industry value populated that is why it is not coming up right remember if in options if you go and check this one right override target for all null input then it will also start showing you the values which sorry the fields which has no values like you know which has like blank values so if you see here right there is no account number there is no industry here and here there is no account number so it is showing you all the blank values but if you use this option right then that means you have to take care of the null exceptions okay so we are going to just keep it checked so that like you know this data raptor itself will take care of it and it will not show the values where there is no data okay not the fields where there is no data so we have two accounts and their information now let's just go and fetch contacts okay so here i'm going to fetch contact okay so contact and in contact i want to uh, give the node name as contact okay you can keep on checking the json here right so that you'll have a clear picture of what is happening along with what you do okay and in the filter because if you navigate to contact object you would know that there is a field called account id right which is a lookup to account correct so if you want to fetch the associated contacts of an account then you have to relate that id field right account id field so if you click on filter you will see all the fields that are available on contact object okay so if i click on filter we have account id and what is the account id in our case account id is nothing but we want the id of this account right so that it can fetch all the contacts related to this account okay and how we are going to do that so here account colon id okay so if you go to the output okay if you go to the output here it is right account id so account id all right now let's just go to the output and also so we have now this is this will show your query right so we are querying on account and we are also fetching details from contacts okay and in contact query we have already given the account id right but then we still need to show the fields right so for, for example from contact what and all are the fields that you want to fetch so we have to go back to the output panel and then we have to fetch the fields of the contact okay so let's say contact um let's just display account id first and then uh, we will also display a uh, contact first name okay contact first name and let's just also display contact let me write this first here you can give whatever you want okay it doesn't have to be like you know this is something that you are deciding okay so first name and then i am also going to include contact last name okay so the drop down should show me the last name last name and here contact colon last name so if you see here right the way i am writing this it is creating the structure right like a similar structure now it also added last name okay so this is how you can define the structure so let me just minimize this so i have three fields four fields from account and three fields from contact okay so this is my contact node and this is my account node all right now let's just go ahead and preview this i hope there are contacts yes there are contacts okay so for this particular account uh you know what let's just also fetch the account name inside the contact okay account name inside the contact and how ca can we do that we have to go back to uh output okay and here so let me try this out contact no sorry this is uh hold on here right contact 
account. I'm not sure if this is going to work, but let me try this out. Did it work? Okay, I have to still give this one, right? So... All right, contact colon account dot name. Okay, this should be capital letter. This as well should be capital. Otherwise, this looks like case sensitive. So it created a different node, right? Because this node I had contact with capital C. If I gave another field and then I have given like, you know, some other like, you know, with small letter, then it created a different node for me, right? So I didn't want that. I want everything like, you know, uh, along with the same tag. So let's just go ahead and review this. If account name is getting displayed or not. Yeah, we are getting the account name, right? So you can see, right, the different nodes, right? So contact, it has account name, last name, first name and account ID. Then uh, there are like, you know, uh, on global media, there are more contacts. Okay. There is another contact, White Carol. And then there is another contact, Amos John. And then uh, we have second account, right? Global media. And so these basically, if you see, right? So this is list of all the contacts that are available. And this is list of all the accounts that are available, right? So there are two accounts, global media and outfront media. And the contacts that I receive are because there are no contacts available on outfront media, but there are four contacts available on global media. So it showed me all the four contacts. Okay. All right. And uh, similarly, what we talked about uh, parameters, right? Let's just first go ahead and like, you know, check out a formula field as well. So under formulas, I'll just simply add like, you know, a normal uh, date field maybe. So today and date okay and uh, let's just current date or something like that okay and we also have to you can just copy this because you would have to use this variable in your uh, output right otherwise how it is going to display so we'll go back to output and here we would have to search for that field okay here if I search for this, see, it came, right? Because this is what I just created. So current date and here. So here again, you can give the label whatever you want to be displayed over here, right? So let me, okay. So let's just give it as current date. And if you notice, I'm not giving here any like, you know, account colon current date or contact colon current, current date. That means this will be created in a separate like you know like you know uh, it will not be under account parent node and it will also not be under contact parent node okay let me see if i can scroll this up okay let here right so if you see because i did not mention any hierarchy over there right that account colon or contact colon so it just it is outside like you know both the parent nodes okay so we have contact we have account and we have current date Okay, so this is how you can like, you know, create a simple formula. All the formula can be used for many, uh, like, you know, multiple purposes, even to like, you know, call an Apex method. But uh, I hope that like, you know, this basic scenario would help to understand that, okay, how you can create a formula, how you can define a variable, and then how you can access that variable's value inside your output. Okay, so I think that would have given you like, you know, a basic idea of how it is used. So, and every other like, you know, uh, complex angles of formula will like, you know, we might cover in the upcoming sessions, but I think this is it for the extract data raptor. Okay. And under the options, we have the same information, which was available under turbo data Ra raptor. This is going to check your like, you know, with sharing. If you check on this checkbox, then it is going to convert this data raptor, like, you know, in the form of like, you know, with sharing. So it is going to check the permission set field level security or like, you know, profile, uh, user table, uh, access security. All right. And this was for null pointer exceptions. All right. So I think, I think we should be good with this one. 
All right. So I think this covers the basic scenario for extract data raptor. In the next session, we will be covering uh, about load data raptor. All right. So that's it for now. And thank you for watching.